Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. Wanted to do a video today on supplements. Now, you guys who've been watching my channel for any length of time probably have come to notice that the supplement videos do very well in terms of views, very well in terms of likes. And that's not really why I'm just doing this, because they also do very well in terms of dislikes. So whey protein is a scam. You guys did not like that title. But also, probably more importantly, they always get a really good discussion going. They're some of my most commented on videos. So that's what I really wanted to talk a little bit about today with supplements. Now, when I do these videos, what I try to do is back up whatever I say with specific research or studies or whatever to give you guys some context and real world applications. What I don't want to do is just come on here and give you some made up numbers based off of things that's really hard to measure, like taste or pump or focus. If I give something a focus rating of 7 out of 10, what does that really tell you? Not much. So I always want to try to base it around research and studies and not these things that are kind of just made up and at the end maybe throw you a 10% discount code. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have a lot of affiliation with a lot of these things. Instead, what I want to do is just really save you money if I can. And I say that speaking from personal experience. And you know, when I was in my earlier 20s, which for me is like a decade ago, I would go to the supplement store, go off of word of mouth or what the employee there told me or maybe what I read on a label. And each month I would end up spending several hundred dollars on supplements. And looking back on it now, I wasted probably thousands of dollars on stuff that doesn't work. So now I'm really particular in what I take and also I make sure to research everything behind it. That being said, I also really kind of push you guys to do some of your own research or if you disagree with what I say, I ask for research to back up your own points because I'd be interested in reading it. Now for this, I know sometimes it's very hard to find information. We're not sure where to go. And as we all know, the internet is a hell of a thing and you can pretty much find anything on the internet. And I mean anything, if you know what I'm saying. So as part of this, I wanted to point you guys towards a site that can really help you. It's called examine.com. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. So here you see the main site itself of examine.com. It's pretty simple and easy to navigate. It has a search bar up top, so you can type in whatever supplement you want and it will give you suggestions just like Google does as well. They also have it broken into supplements and nutrition for most frequently searched items. In this case, while we could just go ahead and type something in, I'm gonna go ahead and select something that we're all probably overly familiar with, which is beta alanine. That brings us to the main page itself where it's gonna give you some information up top on the supplement that you've chosen to search for. On the right hand side, you'll find an index to skip to different points of the article. If these are getting too wordy for you, there's also a quickly section here that really summarizes things nicely, although you can expand on these to really get more information. One of the cool sections on here is something called how to take. So for beta alanine, it notes a two to five gram dose is the suggested serving size. However, it does note that some people have issues with tingling sensations and it says you can split the doses up into several times per day. It then has a human effect matrix which references studies done on humans, so not rodents, and it gives it a letter grade corresponding to how accurate these things are known. So for example, muscular endurance, there's eight examples. You can click on this and get eight different research studies linked directly and how it corresponds to whatever we're testing. If you wanna click on these links itself, you can take a look at the abstract. In some cases, you might have to do your own digging to get the full text, but again, this can be very beneficial. You'll find some other information in here as well if you continue to scroll down. These things can get pretty specific. For most of us, you probably don't need to read through all of these, but again, it's a great place to do more research on your own. So this could be a great thing if you're looking to take a certain supplement, you wanna know if it works, or maybe you just wanna know what some of those things in the supplements you're currently taking are. Examine.com is a great place to start and a great source of information, so I highly suggest you check it out if you get the time. As always, everybody, appreciate you watching and stay big.